Um, turtle mount? Yeah, for turtle mount, you've got uh, one arm draped across the back. Um, try to keep your... There we go. <laughs> Take two. Um, one of the right. main things, try to, keep, uh, try to keep your weight on their body. You can tuck this arm in, right? Uh, into uh, side of side there. Keep this knee off the ground. Helps to keep uh, the weight on his body. All right, this hand, you can uh, start attacking, I guess, reach under, go for a good choke. Um, I guess uh, that's the basics. This foot is out. Um, try to keep your, your weight, uh, I guess. Where's his butt? His butt is uh, on his feet. Yeah. Yep, you're trying to keep your weight back to keep his butt down, tucked yeah, down to his feet. You don't get too far forward, or uh, I guess you're just resting your weight kind of on his uh, on his hips. Yep, making him work. All right. Do you know the other option from here? The more the wrestler's type control. Um, I don't think so. Okay, that's good. Stand up. So, this is more for your jiu-jitsu option where I've got a gi to start attacking. It's also mm -hmm. a great striking option for MMA. Okay, if he's just staying balled up here, I can just start hitting the ears. Got to make sure not to hit on the back of the head. And if he starts lifting his hands up to protect his head, then I start coming underneath. All right, Dan Henderson knocked out Fedor with an uppercut from underneath here. My other option, which you usually see more from wrestlers especially, is switching my hips so my back leg is up. My knee's tight to his butt. I'm knee to knee here. I can still start attacking my seatbelt, my collar chokes. All right. The downside here is that I don't have my weight on his hips which means that he can start lifting his butt up and diving underneath for a rolling knee box. That's, yeah, exactly. So that's something I have to be aware of in that type of condition. But either option is going to give you, op give, you, give you ways that you can either attack, right? MMA, I can strike. I can start attacking chokes. We got our clock choke. We got our uh, modified, bow and er or, uh, yeah, modified bow and arrow. We can go over the top for arm bars. Got all kinds of attacks. We've also got a lot of back takes that we can do. Great attacking position. Thank you.